Hey everyone, it's Lisa. I'm in my kitchen. I wanted to come live, share with you what I'm doing. This is a watermelon that I just cut the bottom and the top and then I just simply went down and cut all the rind off. And now I'm gonna use my crinkle cutter. This baby's sharp. And I am gonna make some um, crinkle fries out of the watermelon. And I'm taking it to a thing that I'm going to later today. So I am gonna put the crinkle fries in this. This is a rectangular cool and serve. So it has the cover. It has the insert, which this is what the food sits in. And then this is the bottom. So in the bottom, I'm going to put in these two frozen inserts. And these will keep my food cold four to six hours while I'm at my event. So these just go together in the bottom and then here's how it looks. And then I'm gonna put all the fries in here and then I'm gonna put dip in a different container that we can dip it in. And I've just got some frozen fruit and I'm gonna let this um, thaw a little bit and then I'm gonna put it in the blender with some Greek yogurt and that's gonna be our dip. So we're gonna have some healthy fries at our little event today. So this is how it's gonna be um, sitting and it'll be in the fridge like that. Um, and that's how I love to take some fresh fruits or veggies on the go. So we're going to do our watermelon fries. Those inserts I don't put in until I'm ready to go because, of course, you want those frozen to be frozen as long as possible before you start using them. So what we can do is we can start, and I just want to get a nice square surface here. And then I want to start doing some fries. So I found that if I can use this to cut as many edges, you get that finish, which is what you want. And this is so sweet and juicy. It's going to be amazing. You know, and these are going to be bite-sized. They're not going to be perfect, but they're going to be so yummy. So you can start by, I've just got this one square piece. Well, it's not really square, but there are my fries. So it's kind of cool. You've got these and they will go in here and they're great to grab, just bite-sized pieces. And here's my piece. Let me, let me put it down a little bit so you can see, and I'm using the crinkle cutter. So this is great for people that do pickling. Because I know everyone's garden is throwing out good stuff. Tell me, are you gardening? What is your garden producing like abundantly right now? I got a late start to mine. I've got some tomatoes every day. I probably get a few cherry tomatoes. I've got some peppers. So I've got some things going. And my son's garden has um, squash and cucumbers. So I was able to grab some of that which was, is always nice you know if we have abundant tomatoes i'll be bringing some over and exchanging them for something else do you do that with a friend or family or something like somebody in your neighborhood i know our neighbor and i we do that too he's like do you need any tomatoes no i've got plenty of those do you need cucumbers because we've got too many it's just great to be able to share and so this is a great little snack that we're going to have at our little event. Tell me, what do you like to bring when you get invited to an event? This is something different. Most of the time I'll bring cookies, but I decided it's going to be hot. I wanted to do something that would be good. And I know the kids absolutely love watermelon. And this is a great, you know, we can just fill up a whole plate full for them and just let them have at it. So you can even stack them up save yourself some work. You can even cut it into smaller pieces if you're doing a salad. You can do a cool looking salad and I'm just arranging it over here on the side in my cool, my rectangular cool and serve. Started just making some rows of it. I'm going to stack it in there and I'll serve it with some tongs. People can just reach in here and grab the pieces of the watermelon. It's a cool, cool, ha ha great little snack to have. So I want to appreciate everybody watching. I hope you're having a great day getting ready for an event we're going to later. I'm also going to bring some 
Um, I want to bring some cauliflower and broccoli with another dip that I'm going to make. And I'm going to use one of our little pantry items. So this is the garden vegetable dip. And I'm going to mix that with some Greek yogurt as well. That is the bomb diggy bomb. I love it. It's really good. It's great. You mix it together and then you let it sit for like an hour in the fridge if you can stand it. And it's great. So it's an easy dip. I don't have to worry about mixing this and that. I love our pantry items. Got some great items in there. I didn't know. Most people don't realize we have pantry items. Breads mixes, chili mixes, scampi. There's all kinds of great stuff in there. And you always want to check out the clearance items, clearance sections, right? I'm all about that. Who likes to save money? So, speaking of saving money, if you're pickling this year, the crinkle cutter is great for fancy looking veggies or pickles, blah, blah, blah. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great day. Done this section of the watermelon. I'm going to move on to the next section. Now, I can also bring another um, little container of the watermelon that I'm cutting up if I fill up this cool and serve and I can pull that out of the fridge and restock this as everybody is depleting my stash. So that's just a little thing I wanna do. I wanted to show you, I love uh, the watermelon crinkle fries are a big hit. Have you ever seen anything like this? Thanks for watching everybody.